House Democrats are hoping to hear from special counsel Robert Mueller later on this month. Joining us now, Massachusetts Democratic Congressman and member of the House Oversight Committee, Stephen Lynch. Lynch, thanks for being here. Thank you, Molly. Uh, so kicking things off, the date we're watching right now, as far as Mueller is concerned, is May 15th. We shall see. Do you think it's important that he comes before Congress and testifies? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think there's there's some uh, discrepancy about the way that uh, Attorney General Barr portrayed the Mueller report when it first came out of the box. So uh, it'll be interesting to ask uh, uh, Special Counsel Mueller what the difference is between what he thought the report should be and, and the one that was given by, by Bill Barr. And what do you think of Nancy Pelosi's accusation that uh, a crime was committed by the attorney general? He's catching a lot of flack right now from the Democrats. Yeah, well, she said he, she thought that his testimony was untruthful, and, and one that is arguably the case. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. All right. Uh, moving things forward a little bit, let's talk a little bit about this uh, very wide field of Democrats that are running for president. You have been quoted as saying that you're essentially uh, with Joe Biden at this point in time, that, that he's a friend. Uh, is his path to victory in the Midwest, those uh, areas in the Rust Belt that he's proven to be popular, packing union halls there at events? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, I think Joe Biden uh, is more of a blue collar uh, candidate than, than we have in the field. I think we need to win, you know, Pennsylvania, Michigan, uh, Ohio uh, and uh, Wisconsin. And I think Joe Biden gives us the best chance to put a Democrat in the White House. Yeah, Michigan would certainly be a big one to watch. Uh, but Mr. Biden, of course, now under attack. He is running as a candidate and sure, certainly is going to catch some flack. But among the flack that he's catching, the president's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, tweeting out earlier this week a link to a New York Times article regarding Biden's son's business activities in Ukraine. Writing, Biden conflicts are too apparent to be ignored and should be investigated quickly and expeditiously. Now, this relates to Biden's son, Hunter, specifically, a very lucrative, uh, reportedly up to making $50,000 a month for work on the board of the Ukrainian energy company during the Obama administration. Of course, at that point in time, uh, Biden was the vice president, and he was using uh, the pressure of financial aid, up to a billion dollars, actually, in loan uh, loan guarantees in that country, ultimately in a successful effort to aim to get the top prosecutor there fired. Your thoughts on conflict of interest here? Well, I'd have to look at it. This is the first, really, that we've heard of it. Uh, you know, I'm not sure what year that was. Uh, <clears throat> certainly, whenever we have uh, uh, Americans that are, are uh, uh, active in, in other countries, and uh, obviously, there's a, a position of power there in the in the vice president's office that Joe Biden occupied. But sure, we'll we'll take a look at it. But uh, by all means, I, I think until there's something uh, you know uh, unsavory that is disclosed, I, I think you know Joe is. Joe is an honorable man. Yeah, a lot of looking at Ukraine lately overall, I'd say. Uh, let's talk a little bit about jobs. 253,000 jobs last month, 3.6% unemployment rate, the lowest in 50 years. The president really crowing about this as well as Republicans. Here we are in a campaign season that's just beginning to kick off, and we're seeing sort of a, a chorus for Democrats saying, you know, they see the numbers, but they think the average working person isn't seeing the benefit. Your thought on that as running as a Democrat right now with the economy the way it is? Well, it's it's below four uh, percent unemployment, and that's that's pretty darn good. Uh, I would say though <clears throat> that uh, I sort of what what Warren Buffett was getting at, uh, things will change, and so the American the American people will go to the polls in in fall of of 2020, and so uh, whatever economy is prevailing at that time, that's the one that President uh, Trump will be judged by. So. Uh, I, I agree with uh, with Mr. Buffett. Uh, things will change, and we'll see whether this uh, the, the stimulus that the, the president instituted through the tax cuts for mostly uh, high income people will will carry the day in in November in September, October, November of uh, 2020. Uh, that is the thing about politics, right? Going closer and closer. There's still quite a bit of time left. Congressman Lynch, thank you so much uh, for your thoughts today. We appreciate it. Thank you, Molly. Good to be with you. Thanks for joining us.